is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we are back with a brand new announcement or sort of just a clarification if you guys tuned in last year you will know that we had the first ever mdt tournament of the damned horror action figure matchup tournament to crown the horror icon of the year or honestly just a tournament where every horror icon right here was competing in an action figure match style format where they competed in the mdt arena competed to the death and at the end we crowned the champion with a brand new trophy with a brand new championship belt and today is finally the day where we reveal the details of the 2022 version of the mdt tournament of the damned where we will feature eight competitors battling it out which we're going to cover all that stuff here i'm going to show you guys the matchups for round one you guys can leave your predictions you guys can possibly make some changes to the lineup if you guys don't like the lineup or you'd like to see something else maybe you could give some recommendations all bets are off but i think i do have the format that i want to use i think we have everything settled down to a schedule and everything like that but as you guys know just like last year i do believe we posted the championship finals on halloween as like a halloween special do believe that is going to be the plan here this year the same deal as last year last year let, let, let's just recap let's recap what took place last year and get into that and then we will break down this year's tournament how everything should look go over the members of said tournament and what you guys can look forward to this year for the mdt tournament of the damned so in last Last year's tournament i'm gonna go ahead and get into the field so in last year's tournament featured eight competitors like we just talked about the first round matchup we did have was hellraiser or pinhead and he did go one-on-one -on -one with jason Voorhees. so this was our first matchup of last year our second matchup was kind of a wild one but we did have chucky battling it out with leatherface tournament trophy getting knocked over our third matchup was ghostface and michael myers and our fourth matchup was freddy krueger and pennywise so here was all four matchups after standing these things back up man these figures like as nice as they are as detailed as they are damn they make me want to freaking just choke myself out sometimes but here was our four matchups this was the lineup last year very iconic i think we knocked out like every major iconic horror franchise at least as far as figures are concerned this is probably your biggest eight from what we have available from NECA. But it was a great tournament. If you guys didn't watch last year's tournament or you'd like to go watch that, we have a whole playlist on the channel where you can go run through every matchup and it'll break down the entire tournament. If you guys, you know, don't want any spoilers for last year, definitely go watch that, watch all those matches. But if you were here last year and you've checked out the tournament, you guys would know that Jason Voorhees defeated Pinhead, Leatherface defeated Chucky, Michael Myers defeated Ghostface, and Freddy Krueger defeated Pennywise. So this was our final four right here four big time horror icons were in our final four our next round matchup was freddy versus jason round number two from the you know from the iconic movie and we did have leatherface and michael myers doing battle and in the end after michael myers defeated leatherface and jason actually defeated freddy but the video got taken down by youtube that's like an unreleased matchup maybe one day we'll be able to release that it was michael myers and jason Voorhees in the finale in which jason overcame michael myers to become the first ever MDT Horror Champion or MDT Tournament of the Damn Champions where he brought home the iconic Horror Championship as you guys can see right here. Beautiful looking championship. We used the Fiend Championship and we just kind of, you know, decorated a little bit, put the Chevron on there. You know, it's a cool little championship. Jason's mask is somewhere. You know, we can plop that on if you want to. But Jason did bring it home. We have the old Horror Championship right here which is just a take on the ho Hardcore Championship which is pretty cool as well. But he also brought home the trophy right here. Now, I did add this this bloody jason mask to the trophy because he won it last year but it's a severed head all bloodied up with a machete running through straight through the skull and then i just put it on top of this andre the giant memorial battle royal trophy and then uh, since jason won last year i just went ahead and plopped this bloody jason mask on there so you know it kind of fits the theme there it's pretty badass up next to jason so he brought that home last year so i'm going to announce to you the current field and if you guys have any problems with this or you don't like the lineup or you'd like to make some changes to the lineup i wanted some fresh blood in in the in the tournament i wanted some new faces i wanted to get a little bit i wanted to think outside the box a little bit so if you guys have any issues with this tournament field that i'm about to get into you can let me know down in the comment section below or you can have some ideas for something down below let me know but god dang man these figures fall and i'm, gonna, I'm about to have a conniption however 
since Jason Voorhees is the champion, he is going to be re-entered, of course, as a one seed in the tournament. Jason Voorhees will be back in this year's tournament. He is not just going to wait at the finale and then battle the champion at the end. He is going to have to work his way back through the tournament. You know, it's just like any other sport. You, you, you got to run it back all the way at the beginning. You know, it's not like Alabama wins the natty. They don't get to just go wait in the championship the next year. No, you got you got to come back. You got to compete. You got to win the, you know, you got to win the previous rounds before you get to the natty. You know, college basketball is no different. However, let's get into the rest of the lineup. So the one seed on the left side of the bracket is going to be Jason Voorhees in his first round matchup. Let's go ahead and get everybody out of the way here. That way, you know, we, we know exactly what we're doing here. Get everybody out. Jason Voorhees first round matchup for this year in the west bracket or the left side of the bracket, whatever you want to say. His first challenger is going to be one of his biggest rivals and we're going with Freddy Krueger. So Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees will be the first matchup on the left side of the bracket. Getting that rematch in the, the, the matchup that nobody got to see last year in the semifinals. They're going to go to war in the first round. Thought that was a pretty nice matchup right there. The next seed that we have on the left side of the bracket and who could be going on to face Jason or Freddy, the first selection is going to be Chucky. So Chucky will be the next person into the tournament lineup. He will be doing war right there on the same side as Jason and Freddy. So, so far we already have three guys that were already in the tournament last year, but we have Fresh Face going to war with Chucky in the first round of the tournament. I think this will be an iconic matchup. A lot of, I'm interested to see what people think of this matchup, but his first round matchup is going to be with Annabelle. Annabelle, the girl doll, will be going to war with Chucky, the male doll. In the first round, I don't know how that one's going to play out, but I'm, I'm interested to see how that one goes, but Annabelle and Chucky will do war. That's our left side of the bracket. Actually, let's put them over here so we know what our left side of our bracket is versus our right side of the bracket. That way, you guys will know exactly what the balance is. So this is our whole left side right here. You got Freddy versus Jason. You got Chucky versus Annabelle. Put the, put the trophy in the middle, and now we'll do the right side of the bracket. So the one seed on the right side of the bracket is the man who wants to run it back, Brad. The man whose movie heavily disappointed me this year. Holy shish. But Michael Myers will be the one seed on the other side of the bracket. It's going to be Michael Myers running it back, trying to get revenge on Jason. Can he make it to the finals? We'll have to see. And the matchup that Michael Myers will have to overcome in order to make it to the semifinals. We have another new character here in the tournament. We are going to have the nun. The nun is making her first appearance here in the MDT Tournament of the Dam this year. Should be an epic fight. I have zero clue how that one should turn out. How's Michael going to win that one? We'll have to see. That figure is god awful at standing. So if it falls over, I'm, I'm going to throw it out in the god dang yard. Nonetheless, Michael and the nun are going to come to blows in the first round. And then finishing up our last spots in the tournament, we have Pennywise the Dancing Clown, the OG Pennywise. Now, last year, we had the remake Pennywise in here. This year, we got the Tim Curry version, and we're gonna have the Dancing Clown in the first round here. His matchup is somebody that I, I don't know, man. We got, we got some crazy characters this year, so his first round matchup is going to be none other. We have the Crooked Man. So the Crooked Man and Pennywise round up our bracket. So here's your left side of the bracket. Jason, Freddy, Chucky, and Annabelle, Myers, Nunn, Pennywise, Crooked Man. We also have a lot of fun twists and tricks coming to the matchups. It's not going to be your ordinary matchups, man. We have a lot of fun things planned for this tournament, so you guys can buckle the hell up and get ready for this year's MDT Tournament of the Dam. Should be very, very fun. I can't wait to get into it. Last year was a blast. This year, I expect nothing less. These guys are going to be killing each other legitimately. You know, we don't try to we try to leave no stone on turned. We have some very fun stuff planned, so stay tuned, man. MDT Tournament of the Damn 2022 coming soon. I'm in the process of getting possibly a new championship and possibly new trophy made. I'm not exactly sure yet. Thought about doing a golden machete or a golden chainsaw deal. I don't know just yet, you know. I know a lot of people are snubbed out of the tournament. There's some great, t there's some great members of the horror icons that did not make the list this year, but I think we're still going to be in for a new, fresh tournament. Should be very fun. But that is going to wrap up the video, man. Leave me your thoughts on the tournament down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on it. Who do you want to see? What you want to see? And give me your predictions. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. You crossed the line. I've been